Hey everybody, welcome back to our GS Team Vlog. Today I'm going to talk about the New Jersey Gold Coast. I'm now standing in Weehawken and behind me is Manhattan. You can see the Hudson Yards or you may even see the vessel. So New Jersey Gold Coast in broader term is the 19 mile Hudson River waterfront from Englewood Cliff all the way south to beyond. But today I'm going to narrow down to a section where I am which is Weehawken and then all the way north to West New York, Gutenberg and Edgewater. A lot of people cross the river to the Gold Coast to raise their families. Here, you have a lot of parks and green space for kids to stretch their legs. And if you purchase a home here, at a discounted price, you get a lot more square footage. Uh, most of the homes here comes with a parking spot. And some even has a private outdoor space. And before we start our journey, let me show you behind me the Lincoln Harbor Park. To me, the best part of this park is that there is a whole section just for grown-ups. But climb at your own risk. Here is the Port Imperial section of Weehawken. So if people travel up from Jersey City or Hoboken, the first question they will ask is that there's no path train. So what is my commute option? There are actually a lot. So first of all, there is a bus that runs along River Road and take you to Port Authority in Midtown Manhattan through the Lincoln Tunnel. And then behind me, you can see the light rail train station. You can take the light rail to Hoboken and change your path there. Also, you can take a ferry. The ferry station is just behind me. You can go to the Midtown in just 5 minutes and from there, there's a free shuttle to take you to different spots in Midtown and downtown which is very convenient. The only thing about the ferry to me is that it's, the ferry is just a little bit more expensive. As you can see, we have a ferry to Midtown every 20 minutes. You also can take a ferry to downtown as well. For the for the fare, it's nine dollar per trip or eighteen dollars for round trip. And while we are here, let me give you a quick property tour for a new semi new construction behind me. Let's go. Welcome to this home. This is a two bedroom, two bathroom plus a den and a private balcony. The total size is fifteen hundred square feet. Let's check out the details. So here we are at the second stop which is West New York. I want to point out that along New Jersey Gold Coast, you have everything you need for your daily life. You have a CVS, ACME, Trader Joe, Whole Food, Target, uh, Starbucks and everything. You also have many different dining options. So some people think when you go to New Jersey, it's the middle of nowhere, you're going to the suburb. I want to say it is totally not the case. Okay, before we move on from West New York, I want to highlight you this upscale condominium. It's called the Night on Hudson. There are actually many rental uh, condominium buildings along the river, but this is uh, one of my favorite. It is built by a very renowned developer. It's called the K Hop Nanyan. We are not taking a property tour today, but of course, if you want a private tour, we are always happy to help.
Wow, do you see all the townhomes behind me? I'm now at the Boost Ferry Townhome Community. It is a small neighborhood between West New York and Gothenburg. It's very quiet, very safe. There's a park here and there are two pools here. The price is around another million dollars. So you don't have to go to this suburb to enjoy the life light in this suburb. I think it's great. Hey, I'm now at our last stop here today. It's uh, Edgewater Marketplace. So I mentioned to you there are a lot of grocery stores, shops, uh, restaurants here. So behind me is the Trailer Joe. There's also a very famous Korean spa called the Soto. It's here, just across the street. There are also a lot of small business with characters. And I'm going to show you my favorite coffee shop. It's called the Kobe here. Let's go. Again, the weather is so perfect today. Uh, across the river, there is an uh, Upper West Side, Morningside High, and you can actually see the Riverside Church. Uh, there's Columbia University and Central Park, although we cannot see it. I'm with my ice Americano. I think I can stay here all day long. Okay, so after my iced coffee, it's time for a proper lunch. So I'm gonna introduce you to Michua Marketplace. It's actually the, my most favorite place along the Gold Coast. So here you can find a lot of Japanese groceries and fresh food. You can even find sushi and sashimi. And there's a food court inside. Let's check it out. As you can see, you have a variety of choices here. You can have a tempura, curry, or ramen. My favorite is the ramen here, actually. So I'm gonna start my lunch now. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like it, please subscribe, press the like button, and comment below. I'll see you next time.